The East Bank four-lane expansion project was supposed to have been completed more than three years ago. But to date, only a few sections of the road from Providence to Tamiri are open to traffic. Head of the Work Services Group, Jeffrey Vaughn, recently appeared before reporters to give an update on the structure. According to him, government was forced to terminate Dipcon Engineering Services for failing to complete Lot 1 of the three-lot project. The minister met with the contractor, the consultant, and we all came to a decision where Lot 1 was amicably terminated. Vaughn explained, though, that the Ministry of Public Infrastructure is in process of getting other contractors to complete the necessary works on the 2.6-kilometer road between Providence and Covent Garden. But in terms of going back out, we are not advertising. We are going to be using the Lot 2 and Lot 3 contractor, extending their contract to complete the Lot 1 works. This Vaughn posited should begin sometime this month. So far, the Inter-American Development Bank, which is putting 20 million U.S. dollars towards the project, has given its no objections to having the contract of the Law 3 contractor, Courtney Ben Contracting Services, that is, be extended. And that is now being forwarded to the National Procurement and Tender Administration Board for them to pronounce on it and then give us the no objection so that we can proceed. Prior to Dibcon Engineering Services being officially sacked, News had surfaced that the company was experiencing grave financial hardships, which led to the dismissal of several employees, as well as substantial debts to a number of agencies, including the National Insurance Scheme and the Guyana Revenue Authority. Dipcon Engineering Services is one of Guyana's prominent national contractors, and the company still has several ongoing projects across the country, including one awarded for the widening of a section of the East Coast Highway, which seems to be unhindered at this point. Nonetheless, like the previous years, head of the Work Services Group is reporting that the East Bank Highway will be completed in a matter of months.